Earth and Space Science Department at Moorhead State University has outstanding programs in Earth System Science, which is essentially geology, space science, and astrophysics. Uh, all three are excellent programs. They're extremely hands-on. They're very unique programs. Uh, in the case of Earth System Science, uh, the students spend a lot of time in the field. They study uh, morphological features. Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky especially is full of amazing geology. And so our students have a natural laboratory in Earth Systems to study. In astrophysics, we have the Big Dish, the 21 meter space tracking antennas, which serves as a radio telescope. And students get hands on experience collecting data, looking at black holes, supernova remnants, quasars, they get to collect, analyze, calibrate their own data, so they get an extraordinary hands on experience. In space science, they build satellites and fly them in space, so they literally get their fingerprints on orbit around the planet Earth. MSU trains their students to be strong field-based geologists from day one. Nearly all of our majors level classes will have you out in the field more often than not directly applying your knowledge. Our immediate region within walking distance is a world-class area for the study of geology. People from all over the world come here and uh, to study geology, so they have that, that going for them. It's real accessible. Our students are doing graduate level research as undergraduates, period. They are responsible in many cases for designing the experiments or designing the studies, executing them, and writing them up. By the time our students are juniors and seniors, they often have the same kinds of research experiences that first and second year graduate students are obtaining elsewhere. We teach students about the earth and how it works. I have a pretty good idea that that's where most of them, if not all of them, is going to be living, right? Here on Earth. So they know how to interact with the environment and how it works. Our students are working in a kind of microscopy that's normally not taught until the graduate level. We're one of only three schools in the U.S. that offers organic petrography training. And we're the only one that routinely teaches it to our undergraduates which is very, very exciting. We have a 100% job placement rate within six months of graduation for our graduates in the last 10 years. That's really exciting to us. It's wonderful for us to be able to train students from Eastern Kentucky and send them onto the larger world and have them not just succeed, but excel. Well, we're really a, a hands-on program here. We not only uh, teach things in the class, but we actually build real satellites here and actually get them launched. We've had the opportunity uh, over the last few years of uh, being involved with probably uh, almost uh, a half a dozen different satellites that have been launched. And we have some that we've been associated with that are up right now and still working. I'm actually currently working on a satellite with one of my friends here. It will be capable of connecting to Wi-Fi and then after its launch it will be capable of streaming live video back to our ground station here at Moorhead. You can really do anything here like with any different electronic devices. It kind of gives you like the general background of knowledge so that you can apply to different like realms of technology and stuff. So it's kind of neat. You can apply anything that you learn in our program to like any technology that you will encounter in your life. Over the summer I just went to California at the California Polytechnic Institute. Institute, and I worked on some projects there. They've got a lot of CubeSats that they're working on, but mainly I helped with testing. And I also worked on the freshman curriculum that's going to be shared between here and there, and then that way students can transfer and get the same degree between semesters. MSU has a 100% placement rate, and uh, already I've got an internship, and that was only the summer after my freshman year. And there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of people that I've already met that have showed interest. So I'm just kind of trying to leave the door open. Moorhead was really intriguing. I actually came in with a different major, but um, I like the environment here. And then I finally decided to not chicken out and study space science. And I actually came here in case that I did decide to go on to study space science. And I'm very glad that I chose to do that. There is an ever increasing demand uh, for students that have this hands-on experience and with this uh, satellite opportunity. But I think the training they get here where they really get hands-on training not only in just technical things but also working on projects with people, managing projects, meeting with the public, doing what real engineers do, uh, I think it puts them uh, a real step ahead of, of uh, 
programs that don't have this opportunity. Well, I'm from thousands of miles away, you know, from a country called Nepal, and and I found out about the Honors Scholarship Program at Mohe State, and not only that, I also found out that MSU had a space science degree at the bachelor's level, uh, and which was a really cool thing because it was one of the only five or six universities in the U.S. that had that program in the bachelor's level. One of the most important projects that I've been involved in is studying the X-ray properties of supernova remnants and other nearby galaxies. So I learned to use the 200 meter space tracking antenna, which is right uphill there. So this summer, I was not only doing the uh, lab work, but also observing astronomical objects using our own radio telescope and also tracking some satellites using the telescope. That was a very good learning experience. All of last year I was doing analysis of supernova remnants from the Chandra X-ray Observatory. In my freshman year I was making observations using the Moorhead 20 meter radio dish of uh, blazars and supernova remnants and I was releasing data on that. Astronomy is just fun and interesting and you know who wouldn't love studying the universe black holes uh, the rings of Saturn uh, but looking to go to inner near Earth asteroids and, and trying to figure out what they're made of so it's just a fantastic discipline to, to be in it's a quality education and it's close to home so I can get an education here in astronomy which is what I love to do without having to pay an arm and a leg to go somewhere else or to leave the state I'm, I'm trying to go to graduate school to get a graduate degree in well, in a related area, so astrophysics, I haven't quite decided what specific area yet, but it will probably be astrophysics or something like computational physics, that area. The Masters in Space Systems Engineering, MSSE, is brand new. We just launched it this semester, and it is the first engineering program at Moorhead State University. It's the first engineering program in Eastern Kentucky. It's one of the few engineering programs in the state and it focuses on astronautical engineering, on the design, fabrication, testing, and operation of, of spacecraft, and particularly small spacecraft, nanosatellite technologies, which we believe are the wave of the future. Very hands-on program. Uh, you literally learn how to design, build, fabricate, and test uh, small satellites. And we've flown five in, uh, in our time here at Moorhead, so we're uh, likely, if you're a student in the MSSE program, you're likely to build hardware that, that ultimately will fly in space. If a student is interested in a degree program in Earth System Science and Space Science and Astrophysics, there really is no need to look anywhere else other than Moorhead State University. We really are truly unique and extraordinary in those areas. Our students are all over the planet Earth, literally. Uh, we have geology students that are up in Calgary, Canada, doing research in geologic structures. Uh, we have astrophysics and space science students working for NASA and working for major aerospace companies. They work for Department of Defense. They work everywhere. It really is. Uh, they go out and do wonderful things after they leave our programs.